Good morning, it's Joshua Donald E. Taylor coming from my place here in Boston Bar, British Columbia. And uh, I've been just going through the first part of Isaiah. I've been, uh, last month I've been reading through, reading through Psalms, Proverbs, and Ecclesiastes. And it's, uh, you know, the word is so beautiful and it's brought me into a spirit, spirit mind to come to the place where the word, reading the word is a pleasure, soothing to the soul, and, and uh, the Lord's waking me up, and rising up higher in Him. But as I read over the first couple of chapters of, of Isaiah, you know, like you need to really read it, you can see that, that America is gone the same way as Israel in the time of Isaiah and uh, it's sad you know it's sad what what's going to come out of this because God is going to remove the greatness of America it's sad the cities are going to go and become destitute houses are going <clears throat> are going to crash I was listening to one video this morning about Seattle Businesses are moving out, and uh, you know that's going to cause property to go down. So the cities are going to end up being being ghettos. That's happening now. What uh, encouraged me, and this message is uh, for you, Christian businessmen out there, or maybe you're not a believer, maybe you want to become a believer. Put your trust in the Lord. We can't save ourselves in our own strength. And, uh, but the Lord is, I know God is going to open up refuge places. I'm praying that you uh, open up a door soon. I'm, I've been here almost four months on this property and I've definitely uh, outgrown my space here. And my heart has always been for community. God's people coming together like like the Sam Fife people. And I've touched base with them off 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 and on over the years. And uh, so I know that the Father is going to raise up a headship ministry, and and uh, He's going to use him to be a strong tower, a light to those that are that He's going to draw in. And, uh, you know, the cities basically are going down. They're not going to be safe, and people are pulling the plug. So why not? You know, there's another option. That means you could take your businesses and set them up in, in places of refuge to uh, help establish the land, right? We need builders, carpenters. We need people that are have the smarts that are gifted. We need the intercessors. In these refuge places, the intercessors will play a, an important role to taking back the land. And, uh, and there's land around, you know, half a million dollars will get you, you know, a house in the city is going to get you maybe two, three, four hundred acres, you know, in, in the country. So, you businessmen out there that have assets, you know, time to sell out. And uh, maybe the Lord will lead you to support the vision that God has put in my heart all these many, many years, 30 years plus, 40 years. And that these places of refuge would have to be fast-tracked. And, and uh, as soon as I'm done the building here, getting this place ready for winter I'm ready for a move I'm ready to say father I'm ready to go you know start bringing your people <clears throat> it's going to take you know if you got six weeks ten weeks would be better you, you have to be established before the snow flies And but these shed shelter systems are, are going to do the trick they're going to meet the needs so this 
It'd be one of the first things to to do when setting up on a on some land somewhere is to build your shops, right? So you could build through the winter and have the equipment set up, and uh, you can pick up stuff from the oil fields, your generators, and that. And uh, so you can have power, and uh, you can get your your seed cans and and start buying lifts of wood, you know, and truck it in, get stuff stored away, and you know, set up your, your eating facilities, your fellowship facilities, all this can be done in, in short order. And your septic waste disposal, make special bio, bio digesters. It's waste, septic waste has been a big problem with the Sam Fife community in, in Uppsala when I visited them first time in 1981, then 84, then 86. And uh, the Lord moved me. In 86, there's a family there that asked me if I would uh, help build them a house and they moved back to their hometown of Benton. And after that, <clears throat> the Lord released me to go see David Terrell in, in Bangs, Texas, and I remember that we all gathered in, in Austin, Texas, that when he was released, he was in the, in the process of being released, right? And that was a, that was a beautiful time. Learned a lot sitting under his ministry, and, but, you know, as the Lord grows us up, he has to become our, our headship, right? So as we read his word and pray and come into the mind of the Spirit, then he can use us, use you as a, as a leader, not, not a follower, right? To bring the past, the Father's will on the earth. But uh, you business people out there, just a thought that I'm throwing your way, you know, uh, I know the money will come and all that, but you could have the land and everything, but you need the people. Without the people, you don't have community. You know, the people are the treasure, right? And especially those that are have the kingdom within them. We know that the kingdom of God is within us. That, that Yeshua, he's the treasure that's in our heart. But we do need to prepare America will never be great again. God's taken America down. He's going to allow, allow the church churches to go through judgment, to be purged. But like it says in Isaiah, the first couple of chapters, that he's going to have a remnant that's going to glorify him, right? For the Lord to be glorified in the midst of his people, not just within our hearts, but within a community that Yeshua is going to be lifted up, that God would be first and foremost in our hearts. So we have this year, we have this year to prepare. Next year, there won't be time to prepare. So you out there that have millions, time to cash in your chips and uh, throw it into, into the kingdom, right? Money's not going to buy you. Uh, you know, when these camps come together, money's not going to be the rule. The love of money is not going to dictate what goes on. It's going to be those who are walking in a spirit mind that uh, they will be the ones that God will raise up and have his power and authority. And anybody, anybody that tries to come in there and tries to rule, rule the roost, well, they might end up going out feet first, and it won't be, it'll be God that's going to do it. He's not going to allow these camps to be messed up, but they need to be established. And these are really serious times. Like I say, the cities are going down, the writing's on the wall. How long will you wait before you pull the plug? How long will you wait? You know, you still have time to sell your homes, to dump your homes, and, and, uh, 
network together and pull your resources together. There'll be a time that you won't be able to, and that time's fast approaching. So it's time to pull the plug in the cities, right? And uh, for the righteous. And uh, these places will be a place where God will reign in the hearts of his people. It'll be a place where this next wave of believers that come in that they can be raised up and trained in quick time. These places will be portals, divine portals that will be connected to the heavenlies. You know, but we need to not just think about doing something that we need. We need to take action now. So, okay, uh, my video says I'm coming to an end here. I better go. This is Joshua Taylor coming to you from here in Boston Bar, British Columbia, Canada.